Hello guys, this is Mike from theprogramming.org. In this tutorial, I am going to step a little bit ahead, but I'm kind of sticking in the same category as arrays, and you may be asking yourself, if I create an array, I have to initialize the size, and then I can't change it once it's that size, so what if I fill the array up completely and I need to add more stuff, what do I do? Well, the answer to that is a vector and what we can do with a vector is it's a dynamic array where just the normal arrays that I've just showed you in the previous tutorials are static as in they don't change size where a vector can grow or shrink so what we need to do to use a vector is we need to add its header file up here and what the header file is is it contains all the functions of a certain object and that's all predefined so we don't have to actually write a whole vector class down here so that's really cool and that's what, how we've been able to do C out and the, the other basic things is because we have this IO stream up there so we'll keep coming back to these little preprocessor directives and things like this that may have seemed pretty alien at first but this will all start making sense as we go further into C++ so let's include that file and all it is is vector and we have already got there so let's do that and we'll close it out and now we can use the vector class so let's show you how to instantiate a vector the way that we do that is all we have to do is write vector vector and then inside of angle brackets we need to put its type and we're just going to do int because I'm not going I'm gonna come back to vectors later on in this tutorial series because it is a little bit ahead of what we are doing I'm just trying to show you that there are other things we can use so this is going to be a very basic tutorial and we need to give it a name so I'm just going to say dynamic array and inside of some parentheses right here we can initialize the size and let's just say three and we'll end that with a semicolon and then what we can do to add elements to it is we can just say dynamic array uh, index 0 equals say 1 let's copy and paste this control C and we'll do control V to paste and we'll put a 1 here a 2 here a 2 here and a 3 here Okay, so now what we can do is we filled up the size of this array. So how do we add new elements to that? And it's pretty simple. All you have to do is you want to say call the array dynamic array dot push back. And inside of this parenthesis, we are going to put another number. So let's just put four okay and if we want to check that this is okay well for one thing we don't have any red lines anywhere so that's a good sign already let's just print out the size of this uh, vector so let's um, see out less than less than and another method we can call is dynamic array dot size there we go parentheses and indent right there let's get a new line line all right let's run this and see if we got size 4 okay so we got size 4 so that is how you can make an array that can change sizes and pushback pretty much just means that we are putting this element right here at the end of the array and if we don't have that spot we'll make a new one and the same goes for taking elements off, but we will get to that when we get a little bit deeper into the C++ tutorials. Thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe below if you are watching on YouTube.